Welcome, welcome. We are listening to number one stunner by Suicide Boys today. We will go through the project file and I'll explain kind of the ins and outs of how I made the sounds and the structure of the beat and all that kind of good stuff. So without further ado, let's listen to the beat. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It just repeats again at the end there, so I thought I would just cut it off. But uh, yeah, so it's just a very simple beat. We have a piano sound. We have some sort of uh, a couple of layers of pads and choirs and drums and a bass down here. So we'll start off with the synth sound. Uh, I guess there's no harm in me explaining how I made this sound. Um, this is the synth here. So we started off with a square wave and a saw wave that are both <coughs> on the same octave. Then we rooted them into a low pass filter with quite a steep, um, it's called a roll off, quite a steep roll off. We turned it down like this, gave it a bit of resonance. Then if we look at the filter envelope, it, it kind of gives it a bit of um, attack on the filter. So that's how that works. Sort of these settings as well, because it's quite a short sound. And then we also gave it some attack on the amp envelope as well. I think it just helps to soften the sound out a little bit more. Uh, then to finish it off in the sort of master section of the synth, we have some delay bit of chorus, it's just the default setting, and a high pass filter. That's it. And then the thing that gives it its lovely broad sound uh, is the OTT and the reverb. See, it's a really basic synth sound, but that's why you add reverb. Listen to how much better that sounds. So much better. Uh, before that, though, we have a bit of... Yeah, just compression, just to tame it a bit. A little bit of EQ, some soothe. If you're not familiar with soothe, soothe is a dynamic resonance remover, and it's the best. It's the best plugin ever. However, it does use a lot of CPU, and at least on reason, it messes with your... <clears throat> delay compensation uh, if you put it at the wrong part in the chain, which is really annoying, but if you learn how to do it, then it's not a problem. Uh, let's look at the piano. When I was listening to the song, I felt like if I was making the song in the 90s or the early 2000s, I would only be stuck with the really basic samplers that people had made at the time, because that's the kind of sound that I felt this beat had. So that's what I did. I just used the basic, this is, is this even, this is like a sampler that comes with reason that you can't even edit the sound on. It's just this, and you can choose like different instruments, and that's basically it. Like imagine you had an old Casio keyboard, and you just press number one, one is the piano, and that's it, you just have a piano. That's what this device is. But luckily, I can then compress it, add on some delay, um, and then EQ it a little bit. I EQ it quite a lot. Uh, all of these melodies and the pads and the piano and stuff are all being rooted through the OTT that I mentioned before and the Valhalla Reverb C Beams preset. Uh, I'll show you the notes.
There you go. High velocity to make it nice and loud and punchy. I did the same thing with this. I thought, let's just get a nice basic choir string sort of sound, which is exactly what this is. It's just... <laughs> It's just that. I actually really like this sound. That's your typical old PlayStation 1 RPG kind of strings right there. That's the preset if you use Reason. It's in the, the ID8 instrument device sampler and it's the orchestral one. That sounds great. And then, oh yeah, Omnisphere at the end. Oh, what is this? Come on. Choir full ooze. Uh, if you don't have Omnisphere, I highly recommend. Put them all together. You're basically trying to create a big open space with the song. Fill out the whole frequency spectrum. Make a nice piece that you can just listen to on repeat. You know when you get a good loop and you're like, oh yeah, that's what this is. Some drums. So we have those drums there, and then we have the full beat here. Yep, the drums have a bit of reverb on the snares you can hear, and then I've tamed the... Uh, the transients just across the board on the snare the kick and the hi-hats and then we have a bass i'll show you the patch for the bass the reason i bounced it to audio is sometimes this vst will not remember the preset properly when you load it up again like this is the preset and this is what it looks like but it doesn't sound the same for some reason so you kind of have to like reload it you should save it and then it's just annoying so i just bounced it but these are the notes And we've got quite a big mastering chain here that I decided to start with OTT. Just to bring out the highs a bit more, then we glue compress it in parallel. RC20, just to kind of give it all texture with some noise, bit of distortion, very small bit of wobble. The wobble just helps it to sound more natural, like it's being played on equipment that's maybe a bit faulty or something. But then again, that's literally the point of this whole device, is to make it sound like faulty equipment. We've added some reverb as well, and then EQ'd out the lows, which actually kind of gives it a bit of a peak, because if you look at the... It's a resonance peak mode. So the bass kind of goes, but then I bring it back up. We have more bass. Uh, and then we rolled off the bass and boosted the mids and rolled off the highs with this here. And that is basically, oh no, sorry. A bit more soothe. So that's what's being tamed. It acts like a compressor, sort of, I get, yeah. It acts like a compressor, but very specific. There we go. That is the whole beat. Ended it with some lovely limiting. Um, I do really like this beat. 
Um, rewind the video if you want to copy the, the synth preset that I made, obviously. You can make this in any synth in the world. Basic oscillators, couple of filters, chorus and delay. That's it. Um, if you like the video, subscribe to my channel. Always helps. Um, and like the video, please, as well, if you also want to see more like this. And I will see you in the next video. So, see you later.